I'm Louise Beard from Forward Insight and Strategy and I'd like to welcome you to the New Zealand um, NZC and Tourism webinar series. This program is focused on building value to and from the China FIT or Free Independent Visitor Market and it's part of a larger program um, that you can find on our website nzcntourism.co.nz with reports, modules, top tips and uh, detailed social media um, a program that you can link to on Facebook, Twitter and WeChat. Um, we also have um, new information coming up all the time so do go back and revisit. In this module it's about the context and we're going to talk very briefly about why the China FIT market is important to you, why they are travelling to New Zealand, um, understanding who we're targeting, there are different groups within that China market and some tools um, and uh, plans to help target and plan for growth. This module is um, fuller online than it is today in our webinar. Um, we've cut it back a little bit so it's easy to watch, but do go and visit the, the full module um, on the website. So why is this group important? At the moment the China visitor market is second um, inbound to New Zealand behind Australia at around 344,000 or 45,000 visitors per annum and there is very very strong growth from that market at over 34 percent a year with a projection within five years for that visitor group to have reached 1 million visitors. So very very strong growth um, both in visitors overall but particularly um, in the holiday independent you can see here that the independent travellers have now overtaken our tour package visitors. But not just that, they are spending more, staying longer, visiting more regions and participating in more activities. So a very, very valuable group. Um, and the projected growth from that group um, is, is, aim, uh, is looking at continuing. A couple of key reasons for that. One is that today, um, despite travel being exceedingly attractive for Chinese, only 6% of citizens have a passport. And it's fair to say that we've been um, getting visitors mainly from Tier 2 one, 1 cities, and that now is growing and um, many of our visitors are starting to come from um, tier, tier 2 and other regions. So very, very strong projection of continued growth. Travel is really important to the Chinese, it's socially aspirational and they're very outward looking so very likely that that will continue with strong growth projected. Not only are we getting more visitors but we have found that our visitors, the independent visitors that are coming to New Zealand from China are many of them coming back. Um, in the sample that we had from China of people who had been to New Zealand on an independent uh, trip around a quarter had already been more than once. And when we asked them what their intention is in the future, uh, many are considering very seriously to come back within two years. So what that gives us is not just a group of people who are visiting um, um, once, but when they come back, they are in the dark blue um, looking to do popular must-do destinations but increasingly get off the beaten track and explore places that are less well known. This is extremely positive not just for the continued support of our icon regions and experiences but there is very very strong intention to actually get um, into our regions and experience less well known places in depth. So if we tell our stories well, strong propensity to come to less well known regional destinations. Not only are they interested in coming um, out of the main centres, but they are interested in coming to New Zealand um, every month of our year. Um, this graph shows um, which months um, they have been to and are interested in coming in the lighter blue next time. If we tell our, re our seasonal stories very well and give people a reason to come um, between March and November, extremely strong, even demand, so a great opportunity to build um, 12 month um, demand and reduce those peaks and troughs. May and October are particularly important um, linking up with the key Chinese um, public holidays but there are people who are very interested in coming other months of the year. 
if you are looking to close down or reduce capacity at any time, make sure if you're targeting this market that you are open and available, particularly in October and May. So from a mindset point of view, travel is absolutely a core of part of the psyche. And our travellers that are coming as FIT independent visitors are generally very sophisticated, confident and experienced. Um, they have been um, to many of the key destinations around the world. They are used to very good service, um, to great experiences. They look for and appreciate deals. They are very sophisticated at hunting those out. Um, and they generally live their lives online through social media. So a lot of this planning um, is done independently. Um, and they are also, on the whole, very confident to book um, and organise everything. One thing that does define this group is, is that they literally do like to travel with others. Um, we've called this a cluster, rather than um, the reference of group, which tends to be with group travel. But, it, but the China independent travellers do travel with others between four and around 20 people. It's really important that you look at how well you are able to um, cope with clusters of people coming at once and wanting to be together, to spend time together and share together. Also with groups, it's very important that you have a range of offers because people within the group might not all want to do exactly the same thing. Um, and if one person's not happy, the group isn't happy. So very much review um, group. How do you deal with groups and how do you deal um, with in a, in a way that makes is, is something for everybody. Families at the moment are a relatively small group, around 15%, but um, if you are have a business that targets that group, um, New Zealand works very well for them, it's safe, um, it's very up close and personal, everything's close and relaxed. So, and there is an intention to bring more families to, to New Zealand, so a really interesting target for people in this space. And when and how long are people coming? Well, we know they're coming um, and are wanting to come at all times of the year, but on the second visit, are particularly interested in staying for a longer period of time, or if they are travelling and around seven days, want to go to one place and experience it in more depth. So a real opportunity there for building serendipity, um, for, for enabling people to find you when they are less well, well planned. Uh, but it also means that they, there is more propensity to get out into the, to the regions. At targeting, we've got quite a bit of targeting information if you're interested in it in the reports um, online. The Tourism New Zealand target is very clearly for this market around independent professionals. And the kinds of things that they want to know are why? What do I do when I get there? How to get around? Um, they certainly do not all want to come um, and necessarily self-drive. So how to get to and from experiences in between regions is really important. Um, will people be welcoming? What are our seasons like? And is it safe? So again, you can look into this in more detail online, but um, some of the key questions that you would want to be able to answer. So why New Zealand? Um, very definitely the 100% pure, everything close, um, every day a different experience. Uh, but basically it's around nature, which is uh, the purity and the hands-on experience of clean environments is a huge contrast to life in China. And in many instances, what is ordinary in New Zealand is totally extraordinary to our Chinese visitors. Fresh vibrancy. Um, but more than that, um, intensity, that it's something that is the drama, the natural drama of New Zealand is highly attractive, with a lot to do in a very short uh, period of time and distances, um, which is a great contrast to Australia. And everything's relatively easy, safe, and we're generally open and welcoming. So a very, very strong and relevant um, experience for the Chinese visitors. And what that means on an experiential point of view is that they do want to not just look at it from a distance but get up close, feel it, see it, touch it, do it, taste it and absolutely share it through social media. So we have some fast wins here. Um, there are more in the, again, the full module but let's go over those. 
Um, the welcome, very, very important for Chinese. Um, our often casual welcome um, can be interpreted as a lack of respect and certainly lack of interest. Um, a welcome can go a very, very long way and it, it's focused, it's engaging and the more formal and upmarket the group, the more important a formal welcome is and it's about establishing relationship. Um, have a deal, um, not always um, a big deal, sometimes it's really again about relationship and a small deal, um, for example um, a small discount on a large group booking or um, if there are increased activities, so it's about relationship and respect. Um, explain the guidelines, if there are any issues at all, our Chinese visitors are some of the most respectful visitors in the world. And if we explain what um, what we do in our place, um, they're very responsive to that. If it's important, ensure it's translated. Generally, while well, one person in the group might speak English well, um, in many instances, everyone else doesn't. So if it's important, um, translate it and provide pot potentially a handout. Um, make it challenging, but not difficult or strenuous. So our Chinese visitors want new um, experiences that um, are taking them to a new place, but they're not particularly interested if it's too difficult. Um, if you have a longer trip, particularly for the Chinese, consider either making it easier um, or shorter. Spend time and ask. Um, Chinese generally will not complain, but if you do ask, particularly around what worked for them, what they'd like more of, how we could improve what we do, they're often very willing to share. And have a seasonal offer. Although in many of our, um, many instances, um, the things that we offer can be done all year round, explain really clearly why it is good to come back in the seasons that you want to attract visitors. You require and deserve absolutely to represent you yourself with extraordinary imagery. Um, for a group who often don't speak English well, a picture can tell a thousand words. And great imagery that's artistic, creative, dramatic, um, and quite sophisticated can really attract Chinese, for whom photography is really important. Um, encourage sharing. Um, a couple of key tips around this. GPS geolocation for your business or activity is critical. If you have that, then every time a photo in your place is taken, the location will be shared and you are uploaded onto Chinese social media. To do that, we have booklets um, online at our website to show you how to do that, but you need to be geolocated on um, Google, uh, Google geolocation and also Foursquare which is the geolocation system that will be um, able to be util utilised in China. Um, Google isn't there. Um, QR code links, again, to information can be really great. Um, if you have a QR code in your business, it can take people to information that is translated on your website. Great imagery and, um, again, enables others to tell your story. And WeChat is an increasingly important platform um, the pre predominant Chinese social media platform and a great tool. So again, go online and have a look to find out more about WeChat. Develop your customer database, and again, WeChat really is the ideal platform for that, and that means you've got um, a group that you can start sharing with, um, and they will share with others. And then um, finally in this, encourage trade-ups. If you have an offer that is more personalised, has a premium, um, enables people to have a different and more unique experience, if we present it, often they will take it up. So make sure if you have that flexibility that the options are clear. Um, New Zealand food experience is made easy. We have a whole um, mm. module on food. It's um, in essence, small sharing plates um, or QR code links to translated menus are really helpful. Tell me why it's unique and special. Anything like that will encourage participation and enable storytelling. Everything close, make sure it's hands-on. Enable people to do it, to touch it, to learn, to get more involved. And have a wet day plan. Often visitors will think if it's wet, the experience is cancelled. If it's not, make sure that you are able to alert them on WeChat or by text and provide um, a, a reason why it's particularly good um, in all different types of weather. So that really sums up at a very high level our overview. 
terms of planning for growth, we have um, a plan on a page which you can use if you would like to, to look at um, your focus for the China market or in fact for your market overall. This module is really cust uh, focused on customer target segments and understanding who is um, important for your business. And we have some tools um, in um, online about how you can actually um, start to articulate and, and look at development of product services um, and experiences for those groups. And this is another framework that you might like to use. And so that really sums up this module. If you would like more information, um, go to, um, again, the website, the address is there. Um, and great. So, all the very best.